Today's video, I'm going to be introducing Maverick to the third step in teaching him to walk backwards. So now we're gonna be working on a different position, which is going to be the heel position. Now, when we get our dogs to walk backwards in the heel position, what we're going to do first is we're going to move the leg that's opposite of the leg that our dog is on. I'm gonna be doing the left side with him. So if I want him to move backwards, I'm gonna step back with my right foot. And then as I get him to move backwards, I'm gonna bring my hand forward a little bit. So my hand's gonna be above him. I'm gonna bring it forward and then I'm gonna go back. And as I move back, I'm gonna match it with the movement of my leg sliding back. And then when he shifts back, I'm gonna reward him, release him from the position, bring him back and do it again. Now, if your dog's starting to understand this, you can take a few steps. So I can step back, bring my hand forward, slide him back into position, step back, bring my hand forward, slide him back into position, and then give him the reward. So when your dog starts to understand it, we do wanna start spacing out our rewards. We can space out our rewards in two main ways. Number one, when we can get our dog performing the behaviors on the verbal command, we can ask for multiple commands using the verbal. And when we teach our dog the verbal command, the verbal simply comes before the physical cue. So then your dog learns the pattern. So you say sit and your dog goes, oh, I know what you're going to do. You're going to lift up your hand. I'm gonna look up, I'm gonna put my butt down. Then you're gonna give me the treat. So I'm just gonna do that without you having to show me the physical cue. And that's how we teach dogs verbal commands. But we can also space out rewards by simply asking our dog to perform more behaviors when we're using just the lure. So I can have a dog spin, flip into the heel position, do a sit, a down, a stand, back to the sit front, and then I can give him the reward. And so he had the reward at the end after doing all those different exercises. And that's a good way to start spacing out your rewards in the earlier stages of our training. So we're gonna get out Maverick and we're gonna work this little slide in the heel position, getting him to walk backwards. All right, so we have a little Maverick here. I'm gonna first guide him into the heel position. Oops, lost it there, no big deal. All right, so I'm gonna step back, forward and back. See, I talked about this in my other video. Did you see how he lifted up and kind of fell a little bit? That will happen in the early stages with an, a puppy. Not a big deal. They'll start to learn. So he stepped back, hand comes forward and then back. See, he lost his balance a little bit. All right, and we're gonna try again. So I'm gonna step back, hand forward and then slide. There, come on bud. There, that one was a little bit better. So I'm gonna reward him and release him. Very nice. Good job, buddy. And we're gonna try again. So let's bring him back into the heel position. I'm gonna step back. Very good. So that one, I forgot to bring my hand forward a little bit. So step back. Very good. Nice job, buddy. Excellent. So again, we're gonna release him from the position and let's get another rep in. Good job. Very good. All right, so forward, back and slide. Oh, there we go. There, that was a good one. Good job. Very nice. I'm gonna release him. I'm getting a little sloppy there. It's not always perfect. So don't expect your dogs or yourself to perform each exercise without any mistakes. We're gonna make mistakes. We're human. And our dogs are dogs. <laughs> Come on, there we go. There, a little bit of that. We're, we're losing some balance there. Let me turn them sideways. Good job, buddy. So step back. Very good. Very nice. That was excellent. Good boy. And I'm not using markers right now because I'm not using any commands. And I'm just praising him when I give him the reward. Step back, forward, and back. Oh, a little sloppy there. Very nice. That one was good. All right, so he's turning his butt out a little bit. Very good, buddy. I'm going to reward him and release him again. Let's try the opposite side. Good job, buddy. So step back with my right leg, forward and back. Oh, a little bit of that balancing issue that we talked about. So again, forward and back. Very good. Step back, forward and back. Good, that one was better. And you notice sometimes your dog's going to perform it better when you perform it better. And this is a difficult one. It's hard to get this coordination down. There's a lot to think about. Step back, forward and slide. Very good. And I'm not even bringing my leg back as far as I should be. So I'm making some mistakes here. It's not as good as I would like it to look. All right, you ready, buddy? Let's try the other side again. And this will be good. So good, we got him in position. Step back with the left leg forward and then slide. Oh, not quite there. Yeah, that one was good. 
Good job. And I just started working on this one with him very recently, so he hasn't quite gotten it down yet. Good boy. Very nice. So we turned a little bit. Let's get one more straight one. Excellent. Nice work, buddy. And that's a good session on getting him to walk backwards. Now, this one is very difficult. So there's a lot of little things that you're thinking about. You're going to make mo some mistakes like I did. I make mistakes all the time. And it's not a big deal. Don't make a big deal about the mistake. Continue to train, have fun, make sure you're having a good time. Your dog might do that thing that I showed you where he lost balance a little bit. And that happens, especially with young puppies. But once they figure it out, they'll slide back really, really nicely. All right, enjoy the training. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.